The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials uh, down nine, Nasdaq's off five, S&P's are off two, gold contract uh, down a buck, 13.31. We have silver uh, down six cents, eight, $17.83. Platinum's down six at 9.83. You get the light sweet crude market up 52 cents, 48 dollars, 73 cents a barrel. We'll have those numbers this morning at 10.30. EIA oil, Yeah, you got it. Uh, notes, 10-year note down three ticks, 126.17, 30-year bond off five, 155.03. Now, they both come down last couple days with light volume. I expect they're going to go lower today with light volume. And why? Because good old King Doll is finally going to get a bounce. That's what it looks like. You get King Doll up 289 ticks. We're at 92.145. The euro is at 119 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 110 to the U.S. dollar. And Apple, Apple couldn't make a new high. Good morning, man. Yeah. Yeah. One, uh, we're down, uh, Apple's down a buck 92, 158. And Apple, folks, we'll see if it's going to be uh, a little culprit. Uh, the, it's not doing much right now to the NDX 100 because inside the NDX, uh, putting strength into it is JD.com. That's up 3%. Uh, Oli, uh, which is O'Reilly, uh, up 2%. Ross stores up 1.7 and Costco up 1.6. But you better watch out for good old Apple. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, swim lessons. You want to understand futures upside down? You want to understand the option market upside down? Kevin, Scott, great show. Just go to tiffinn.com, hit Tiger TV. Kevin Hinks, what's going on? Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien. How hey, you guys doing today? Hey, get, you, you, yeah, it's time for you to get that apple up and going, man. Let's go. I'll tell you what, <laughs> you know, it's got a history of doing this, though, Tom. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's got a history of kind of being a little soft after these big announcements. So it, it ran up a little bit into the announcement. Now it's got to work through. I mean, a lot of good things came out of that um, of that announcement yesterday, but is it good enough, right? Yeah. Did they really change any of the the major, you know, it's here's what it is. It's probably the best phone they've ever made, right? Yeah. But is that enough? Did they change the world? Sure. And, well, you know what I'm wondering question. about, too, is like the watch, right? Is that we're wondering, like, is the watch going to be another, like, uh, payment per month in order to get what you want to get? You do right. have to pay for it. For oh, sure. you do? Yeah. It's okay. just not, I believe, out yet what it's going to be, whether it's $5, $10 a month. It's kind of going to be the iPad deal where you're adding on to your service. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, you know, Apple still got a lot of things happening with that firm and 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 the, the you know the uh the phone looks very good it looks it looks good some people don't like that there's no homes button now sure. you know there's some changes obviously but you know we'll see the time will tell right it's all about the orders does, oh, it, does it look right? $999 good, right? Right, yeah. exactly. So it's all about the pre-orders that you'll start seeing. We, we, what we focus on, like we talked about yesterday, was what did that do to Sprint? Sprint was up a couple percent yesterday. Verizon. Yeah, my um, bell, AT too. AT&T, yeah. right. Right. So we looked at what they does for the carriers, and you know they're going to have more traffic as people come in to look at the phone. So what does that do for them? Yeah, uh, there, there's, there's no the doubt. The ripple effect. There's no right? doubt. And, you know, it's going to be interesting out here, Kevin, is that it looks like King Dollar is finally going to get a bounce. Well, we'll find out. I mean, it's only up 300 ticks. But, you know, it's kind of like, okay, man, this thing is looking like, you know, this thing was going to come off the bottom. It's right. And, and, you know, I think that some of these commodities will get weak, even if it just shows that it's firming here. 
right? Yes. It doesn't even need a big rally, and they'll and they'll sell these commodities because of how far they've run on on a dollar. So, I that's what I think you're seeing some of today. Yeah, the dollar's firmer and and has moved back up a little bit. Not a massive move, but these commodities are all reacting. Other than oil, which has got a micro story today, as you know. But yeah, I mean, gold is a little softer. Yeah. Um, you know, the grains were all hit hard yesterday. I, I mean, that was that was report, the report. So, yeah. Right. Right. A little, a little, little bigger crop than they thought, right? Bigger carryouts. Remember, a lot traders in the grains. They all they all want to talk about the carryout. And That's what, and what is the carryout, Kevin? The carryout means millions of of uh, acres left over. I see. Bushels left over after everything's been sold and committed. How much is left over? Okay. Like how much can if something changes? Like you know, if it gets into the low 100s and stuff, that's basically zero. And right that's now, what they put into storage, right? Five, right? It's 475. That's a nice, healthy number. That that'll keep the not only the grains under pressure, but the spreads in uh, the grains under pressure. I got it. Okay, pretty yeah. cool, man. Yeah, it's, it, it's several things that they look at. But, you know, it's so funny. The, the, the production and the numbers there, they look at that. But the traders, they look at carryout yeah. in the corn and, and, and the beans. That, that totally makes us, you know, because that's supply, right? That's extra right. How supply. How much is left? So yeah. How much is that, you know, how much is, you know, it, it, are they going to run out or is there plenty to make it through? Yeah. So remember, we're getting in, the, the corn crop's already 5% harvested because corn goes early. Okay. Yeah, so I beans see. will start early October. Wow. And that, interesting trade, it, though. I, I know, you know, we don't trade cotton, but man, that was pretty wild. What's going on in that cotton market, man? I did not even see cotton. Well, well, well it went limit. It went limit up uh, twice uh, oh. last. Uh, well, a week and uh, yeah, five, seven trading days ago, and then it just went limit down two days in oh, a row. Gosh. Oh man! Seriously, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, li limit up, limit down. That's some. That's some serious volatility right there. Yeah, no doubt. And, of course, uh, the oil number we got coming up, this, this oil thing is going to be interesting because it seems that, you know, oil, with the dollar getting croaked, I mean, it had a shot to do something. It's like, and it didn't. Right. So we'll see where this shakes out, I guess, right? We, we talked about that yesterday on our show. It's actually amazing to me the lack of volatility in oil based on everything the last two weeks that's happened. There's been very little volatility. Last A week ago, Wednesday, when that inventory number came out, yes. that's about as little movement as I've ever seen right. on an inventory number. Right. You know, and so the, either oil is getting ready to just break one way or the other hard, or we're just in a, in a time where, you know, some of the numbers that you're seeing for the inventories, they're big numbers. Based on the storm, can you really trust any of these numbers? Numbers. I think that's what making traders pause. Do well, what, what? What do these numbers mean? Are they skewed by the storm, or, or right. what is it? It's getting hard to realize, hard to interpret what that that inventory number means. Yeah, just even in Tampa. So you had stories, of course, with gas outages everywhere. But then just watching the local news last night, and they were saying actually that there was always plenty of gas. The problem was that they had it in the port and they couldn't get it to the stations fast enough. So maybe they just didn't have enough trucks. So, so just kind of yeah. like you're talking to, you know, where it's like, where does that sit? where they talk about is, yeah. is there a pile up of actually too much gas now in Florida where once the, they get it to all the stations because right. they actually said that Florida had the gas they had it in the ports but you know of course with trucks they just couldn't, couldn't get it to the gas everybody was right? just filling up as fast as they could right. right I mean if you like we had a full tank I drove to work two days fill it up again right yep. make sure so that's yeah well, be interesting Listen, folks, right here, 45 minutes, great show. You want to understand options upside down? You want to understand how laying on some of those trades, futures? TFNN.com, hit Tiger TV. Kevin, have we'll a great some one. Oil today, Tom. I, you too, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And look forward to the show in 45 minutes. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will 
will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow Industrials right now uh, down seven. You get the Nasdaq off five. S and P's are off one and a half. Basically, we got a flat market yeah, over here. Pretty much, right? Yeah. Uh, and the, the, of course, uh, we'll be talking about Apple all day. Uh, it, it's keep, it, it keeps pushing into this this low, and this low is going to be important, folks. Um, it's a far cry from the high yesterday at about two two thirty yeah. two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. So. You can see, and the gap on the other side is, uh, what, 158.80 approximately. That's 158. Yeah, yeah right there. basically, we're yeah. right there. So that's going to be, that's where the battle's set up right now. You know, if they can't break it down, guess what? They're going to try to break it up. Uh, oil. Okay, so, uh, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. And you can walk with us as we uh, trade these defined option contracts. Now, oil, 1030. So we'll pull up the chart first. Oil right now, we're looking at the October contract, trading at 48.75. We'll jump into some of the spreads, commodity spreads, crude oil. Let's check out the 11 AMs first. So right now, 48.75 on the dot. And so they're going to have spreads that do line up right with 48.75 being the ceiling and the floor. Okay. Here's our bullish spread on the left, 48.75 up to 50.25. Bearish spread on the right, 48.75 down to 47.25. Basically, we're right at max loss here, so all you're paying for is premium, no intrinsic value on either one. Positive one's gonna cost us 18, and negative one's gonna cost us 18, 19, pretty, pretty much. So you're looking at 36, 37 dollars give or take, That's for the 11 a.m. Okay. Now let's take a look at the 12 o'clocks real quick as we jump around here. 
So 12 o'clock is also a line up, 48.75. So we'll see what that extra hour is going to cost us. 48.75 to the positive side. So we're looking at 21 versus 18. So $3 okay. extra, and that's going to be comparable. It's going to be about $3 extra on the negative side as well. Yeah, so looking at 41 versus 36, right? Four and, pennies. Not yeah, bad. and let's, let's, let's jump to one more before we make a decision. Okay, so the 8 till 230s don't line up exactly. They're 4850 would be your point. Not too far off. You know, you'd have a little bit of value to the upside if you want to. And then the dailies, let's take a look, would be about 48. So not completely okay. comparable. Let me just look at that chart for a Go second. For it. So when we look at this chart, so right now we're at. That's the November contract you're looking at there. Oh, okay. So yeah. we got to get the October. C O Y maybe. Oh. C O. Mm. Let's, I'll just get into this sure. one right yeah. now, just so I can see what's going oh, on. That was it. You got it. That's the October. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, so we're up 58 cents. 48, okay, this is pretty close. This is delayed, but. Yeah. Okay, so it's dramatic. Live contracts at about 48 cents. Dramatically out of order. So, okay, so the top side is 49.26 right now. If it gives it up, the bottom side is what, 47? 47, that's not bad. No. <laughs> that, and that's just the high of that day. So can we go back there for a second? Is there, there's not one that is a bearish bias, is there? Well, there is always one. Um, yeah. <laughs> we could always find one. It's just probably, probably too bearish. Um, so, you know, let's we'll go back to the 11 o'clock. Yeah. 48.75 is an option. Now 49.50 you could use I don't, I don't think they're going to line up like yeah, you want. You right, know, I, don't, I, don't, right. I don't know exactly what you're, but... Okay, we will... I'm going to pass on this right now, because okay. my take would be that uh, this thing wants to pull back a bit. Um, we may have a caller. Do we, we have do. a caller on the yes, line? Do. Let's go. Who do we have? We can't we see. We do. Who's, who, who is that? It's Jim, Minneapolis. How are you guys? Hey, hey what's Jim? happening, brother? How what's you doing, going man? On? Uh, I'm glad to hear you guys uh, made it through the, uh, the storm okay and our... Uh, Beloved beach out on Anna Maria made it through uh, yes. quite well. As, yeah, so. Yes, there's no doubt. I mean, we're, we missed the bullet, for yeah, sure. We got hit, but we definitely were right. fortunate in how things right. worked out, for sure. Yeah, yeah, we've had, uh, I mean, this week it's been uh, up in Minneapolis. I mean, we're, we're almost 90 degrees all week. It's uh, really? summer again up here. Yeah, man. Wow. Unbelievable. That's pretty uh, wild, man. Fall is not here yet, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's in the air, but it's... Uh, well. it's but as as it can happen, this, this, you know, you can wake up the next morning and uh, you know it's. I was gonna say in Minneapolis, fall. you better embrace it, right, Jim? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. Uh, another thing I embraced, I just uh, I was gonna ask you, Tom. Uh, I just became a grandfather here in the last. Congratulations! Year. That's awesome, uh, man. Unbelievable! Yeah. That it's, is it's so just, cool. Exciting it's times. It's just insane. It's just uh, you know. <laughs> grandfather you know I'm how so about grateful. that you know it's crazy so new life um, perspective i'm yeah. sure man it is really it, but i was going to ask you is it uh, is it a boy or a girl a uh, little girl new tigers uh, aubrey beautiful thing camille. Well, say it again say, aubrey camille Ooh, aubrey camille wow. i like it beautiful right. name wow yeah sweet man awesome but uh question for you what i want to do is you know I want to buy an allocation of just uh, gold, silver, platinum, and wondering right right now if you had, you know, X and one or no amount of dollars, how would you allocate just to, to physical right now for for her to tuck away for you know 20 years from now to wake up and. I guess uh, I'd here. split it. Um, you know, I'm not a big silver guy. I mean, I know yeah. people think silver yeah. can go to the moon. I mean, gotcha. gold and platinum though, I'd be all over it. I just split it in half. I mean. If it was yep. different, I'd say you'd buy all platinum, but who knows? Maybe the world's going to change. And, you know, platinum's been <laughs> under gold. A little diversification over yeah, 20 years. Yeah, platinum's been yeah. Over, under gold for so long, you know? Yeah, 
Yeah, um, really. Has. And you know, uh, it's, it's, the bottom line, silver, you know, is going up too. I mean, it, it's you know, so I mean, you could do, you could do a third, a third, a third. I guess, you know, the silver one was going to give you a lot more heartache, I think. But yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just, uh, and it's more, just physically more to store too. You know, smaller quantities. Sure. Right? Yeah. Well, unless you, unless it, you buy it, the bigger hundred dollars. No, exactly, bars, I exactly. I mean, yeah, I, sure. I think you'd be in good shape, uh, and she'll be in good shape too. Yeah, you know, awesome. This is pretty cool. I Gold know. from the get-go, right from birth. Gold, silver, platinum. Yeah, from day platinum. one. Day yeah. one, you gotta, gotta love gotta it. Gotta keep up with with uh, with the funny money inflation. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. man. And it's real. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> every time. Well, here you want to see something crazy? I was just showing Tommy this at sure. the break. We thought we were seeing things. Well, I definitely thought I was seeing things. So what they just did in Austria, folks, right? They just sold a 100-year bond, and they did it. At 2.1 percent. I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah. So, and and they sold. Check this out, folks. Yeah. It wasn't they, small. Go it was yeah. 4.2 million U.S. dollars. Billion. Let's let's. Billion. Billion. <laughs> billion. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that deal. If you can't make two percent a well, year. All we need is Apple to issue a hundred-year bond, and that'll mark the top. Oh, hey, it might be here. Intense. Apple, Amazon, totally. Well, yeah. well congratulations, right, congratulations man. Thanks. Okay, have Thank a great you. one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Uh, we'll have those uh, oil numbers for you. Dow Industrials right now uh, flat. S&P's down a buck and a half. Nasdaq's down six. We're going to be right back. If you're looking to open your portfolio to a world of opportunity, consider the new market-safe emerging currency CD from Everbank. This three-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is up seven. Nasdaq is uh, down five. S and P's are flat. Oil numbers. So it looks like we have an inventory rise of 5.89 million barrels. And if you um, sneak down here, the whisper number was maybe a rise of 5.11. So a little bit more inventory. Let's jump over to that Nadex platform, see where the market is. And so getting a little bit of a pop, 48.35. Currently, we're trading it, where are we? I'm sorry, 48.85. Yeah, we were at 48.75. So about 10 cents higher than where we were pre-market for, I'm sorry, pre-news. Um, but not too much of a reaction. That's pretty yeah. close to the number that they were expecting. Interesting, too. Yeah. Just like Kevin said, there's no, no volatility, man, you know, in the oil market. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not for what we've gone through, right? right? I mean, the only reason I shake my head is because, you know, since overnight, we're up almost a dollar. So there's a little bit of volatility there. <laughs> That's not no movement, right? Right. Yeah. All right. The, uh, let's go over and we take a look at, so what's interesting here is that you, you got um, the NASDAQ still really flat. Um, and, you know, Apple just lost that, that price. So we'll see, you know, if in fact it's going to stay below it, meaning that uh, 158 to 79. You know, you get you get a little spike here, um, and we'll see whether it does it. Uh, yeah. Inside the NDX 100, what's putting the strength in here today is O'Reilly Automotive. That's up 3.4%. Uh, JD's up 3.4. Viacom's up 2.6, and Xilinx is up 2. Taken away from it, you got WorldCom, not WorldCom, Western Digital down 5%. Um, Hologic. Hologic down 2.2, uh, Sirius Satellite down 1.9, and Henry Schein off uh, 1.6. Inside the Dow Industrials, strength uh, is Walmart, that's up 1.2%. Uh, United Health up uh, 9 tenths, taken away from it. Apple, oh, it's interesting, Apple's the culprit on the way down. Yeah. Only 1.3, oh, let's go see what the numbers though are. So numbers, uh, Equinox? E yeah, Equ Equinix, maybe? Yeah, so that's down. I'm not, sure. I'm not even sure what that is. But what were we looking at? What was that? What, what were those movers for? What market? What indice? I believe this is the Dow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to... You know, uh, taken away from it is... Yeah, see, that's a different... Right? Things just change. Equinix is no longer there. So just to, right? No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. we were looking at something different there. I so United, United Health uh, is putting 12 positive points. Uh, Big Mac is putting seven. Walmart's putting six. Taking away from it, Boeing's taking 19 away. Oh, Apple's taking Apple. 14. Yeah. No big deal, really. Yeah. Um, Take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here. This, this, is a, this is a flat market out here, man. Even with uh, so some of the high volume stocks out here. What do we have? Let's see. So Microsoft up 10 cents. You get Intel up 18. Walmart's a mover. That's up 92. Visa's down 72. Big Mac is up 121. Let's go to Amazon. How about that? You know, yesterday Amazon saying. Couple of executives, the rumor out there, Boston is on the, you know. I think you'll see a lot of those articles coming out with a variety of cities, and um, that's to be expected that Boston should be in the running, as well as many other cities. I think that, you know, there's going to be a press battle for them to kind of get in there as well, because that's a one of a kind opportunity to have Amazon building a second home in any city. Um, so any city with, you know, they talk about whether it's education, infrastructure. Right. Um, Bring them on down to Tampa, man. Let's go. Yeah. No, Vin you Vin can see that Vin for sure. Vinnick's down in Tampa and Gates are down in Tampa building that place out. Okay. And that's right. what, so you got Dave White in there saying Amazon said no on Boston this morning. And that's why I was a little skeptical even with that article because there was very little offer there besides this person said Boston's in the running, you know, and it's, but who's this person? Well, that's no, no names associated with anything. And, you know, we'll see if, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, yes, they, they denied that any city is is ahead right now. Well, right. that's, you know, Which if you're you in Boston, you would want anyone writing an article saying Amazon's considering Boston sure. and then talking about, what do they talk about? The highlights of Boston in that article, right? right? right. It's like the... You know what cracked me up, though, is that they said that Boston is uh, inexpensive compared to other 
big cities. It's like, wow. Okay. Yeah. And then you're talking about London or <laughs> Hong Kong. Yeah, or, no, you no, know. for sure. <laughs> they did, though, point out, though, that people were would be disappointed because it's inexpensive if you want an apartment versus an area like Austin, Texas, yeah. where it's Whole Foods, where you can actually have a house. Okay. Versus All they were right. saying that that wasn't the comparison in Boston, which is one of the downfalls that, you know, if you're going to be living in the city in affordable housing, you're not buying a house. <laughs> you right. know, as we know, right. around totally. the city at least, you yeah. need to get out, out to the suburbs. Um, whereas in places like Austin, you still have enough land, I think, around that surrounding area, right. around that city, and that that's where Whole Foods is based, that they're talking about they already have a bunch of employees, maybe. Oh, interesting. So there's going to be a lot of yeah. a lot of, a lot of articles, I'm sure, speculating. Let's go look at that gold market. So uh, you get gold down 7 bucks. We got some juice behind the move. It's going to yeah. be about the dollar. So, you know, we came down yesterday, light volume. This thing's backing into, uh, I guess you're going to break that. Yeah, I think this thing's game to like 13.05. You know, the, the, the highs where, where I'm going there is I'm going the highs that we took out, you know, when we went topside. You know, and, and that's kind of a, excuse me, a normal occurrence. You break topside, you come back. If it comes back with light volume, it's a good setup. Um, one of the gold stocks out there, this is pretty cool. So, um, Eldorado Gold. Now, this has been a problem, child. Um, and it, what it has to do with is that they're permitting... Uh, In Greece, right? Yeah, and because Greece is broke. <laughs> uh, they've been going back and forth not getting the permits. And now, so the news out here this morning, Eldorado Gold surges 16% intraday um, after Athens News Agency reported that the Environmental Ministry issued two licenses and Canada's Trade Minister said it will intervene on El Dorado's behalf in Greece. Athens News Agency reported the Greek Environmental and Energy Minister issued two licenses needed for El Dorado's mining investments in Olympiada. Olympiada, yeah. So we'll see. Uh, hey, anytime the company has their own government stepping in <coughs> to help them in international negotiations yeah. and you have licenses being issued right looks like that's it's, good for Eldorado that's a good start yeah uh, King Dollar we get over and take a look at King Dollar and uh, King Dollar looks like it's gonna it's gonna do something here um, you know you let's see so we got yeah 424 ticks yeah and counting and so on King Dollar what you'd be looking at right there 92 230 okay so 92 230 gets yeah, you in the higher 100, range 190 ticks from where we're at yeah it's you know it's and that's doable on a a good bounce because king dollar absolutely hasn't bounced yeah you know and even the way it was trading yesterday it was almost looking like man this thing's still not going to bounce which would be just amazing but Let's jump back and see if we have any action in yeah. oil coming off those numbers. Yeah, so nothing really, to, almost to the penny, 48.76. No, no Just volatility. laying there. Just laying. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. You hit the Dow flat, NASDAQ's off four, S&P's are flat, gold's down 710. You get the King Dollar up 419. We'll be right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be coming to Boston September 30th for a free workshop, The Art of Timing the Trade. 
Join Tom O'Brien Saturday morning, September 30th at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts as he breaks down his trading methodology and provides you with the tools to become a more successful and profitable trader. Everyone that attends in person will receive a free signed copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute will also be presenting for 90 minutes at this free event. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Join me in Boston on September 30th as I return to my hometown for a workshop about the art of timing the trade. I look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses for this special free event. All action starts early at 7.30 a.m. with a continental breakfast and wraps up at about 1 p.m. Topics that Tom will be covering during his presentation include quality volume, cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, and much, much more. For all the information on this free Boston event taking place Saturday, September 30th, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, again, Apple down 244, so that's breaking lower, but check this out with Ma Bell. This is pretty wild. Also known as AT&T for anybody born this generation. Go ahead. <laughs> I have to slide well, it in. I, I don't know what Ma Bell is if I wasn't your son. So there, there, there you go. for the Perfect. rest of everybody cluing in, that's AT&T. Go ahead. So... Uh, let's see. So it begins. The promised truce among wireless carriers is over. After vowing to avoid a repeat of the blistering iPhone price wars of last year, AT&T is firing the first shot, offering a free iPhone with the purchase of another. The buy one, get one free promotion starts Friday and applies to the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. Among other phones, AT&T hasn't said whether the deal will be extended to Apple's most expensive phone ever, the iPhone 10. Yeah. So it'll be interesting, right? And what did I say to you? Maybe we should jump over to AT&T. We're on Sprint right now. They do well, but um, we'll see. We'll see what what happens. I mean, that's. I think that phone was six ninety nine or seven ninety six ninety nine um, for or seven ninety nine. Okay. I mean, that's a that's quite a buy one get one. I don't know who's running seven hundred dollar <laughs> buy one get ones. Well, the thing that's um, amazing, right, is that. I mean, let's see what time did this come out. This is Friday, so that's. Uh, but it, I'm thinking, what time? Oh, okay. That's that's how. Ten fourteen. Is that? Yeah. This morning? 10, 14. So this just happened. Oh, yeah. I, this is going to make okay, so big waves. Okay, so just give it a little bit of time. Oh, here. That's, yeah. So let's, the other top carriers have relatively restrained. So Sprint, in a series of gifts on Twitter, half off lease for the iPhone and deal. The deal requires a trade-in. that was yesterday, though. So, but I mean, yes, but look, the deal requires a trade-in of the iPhone 7. Well, guess what? Okay. I have an iPhone 6. Okay. That doesn't even apply to me. That's going to be a very selective audience. That, right. That, you know, usually you go like the two years, right? So you're not doing the one up. Very few people go every year. Okay. You, see, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Where every year, and that seems to be a very selective. Look at this. The, the AT&T customers who purchase an iPhone can also get an iPad for 99 bucks. Yeah. Now again, though, that's that's intriguing, and in that the deal requires a two-year wireless service contract. Okay. So they're really locking you in, and that's where and you know. That, oh, look, there you go. All the carriers sell the connected Apple Watch. The device needs a $10 a month data plan. That's where uh, we're talking about. So I think if you have an iPad with LTE coverage, okay. we don't, I don't think you have one. I have one. No. We just have the regular. Um, right. That's a $10 add-on right now. And so okay. that's why they were speculating the phone with the LTE coverage. You know, you don't need a whole separate phone plan, but that's a $10 a month add-on. Um, 
but with millions of customers, and that adds you, up. Yeah, beyond belief. just even for ourselves, right? You added enough of those. Well, geez, now I have an iPod that's ten dollars, and then I have a phone that's ten dollars. Then I have, um, excuse me, a watch that's ten dollars, and you got the phone that's a hundred dollars as is. Yeah. It adds, it adds, but it'll be interesting to see. Buy one, get one for sure. And let's, let's, I know, man. Maybe. And if they go to that iPhone X, I don't think they're going to jump it to the X, only because the X doesn't even have the availability to push out as many that I would be surprised if they push that kind of deal for the X. Right. Yeah. So if we go to Apple right now, you get Apple, uh, it just Not doing broke, well. Yeah, yeah, down 274. You broke a swing. Um, you have 17 million. You did 71 yesterday. So, you know, if this keeps up, folks, this is going to be volume off the high. And, you know, volume off the high, when you get some follow through, normally gives you larger corrections than you normally get. Sure. So, it's be interesting because. Yeah. A couple of the other fundamental takes I was hearing yesterday are, you know, they're not going to be able to produce as many of those OLED screens as they'd want. Samsung okay. produces them, number one. Samsung uses know, them in their a, own phones. That's a trip phones. in itself. It right. is. Um, Samsung uses them in their own phones and they give them to Apple. So, if it becomes a supply constraint, well, they're going to either charge Apple more to have them or keep right. them for themselves. And another angle I heard talked about that was cool is just how um, consumers in general go, they like to go to the middle. They don't like to go to the edges. You don't want to buy the cheapest thing and you don't necessarily need to buy the most expensive and ordinary right. thing. Right. But, you know, that's why small, medium, and large, oh, I'll take a medium. I don't need a small, you know, no, I, know. I might not need yeah. a large, but that's I'll be a medium. So they're talking about that, you know, you can't produce the old, the X in the numbers that they wanted. So they almost could be using it to, they call it the compromise effect, and where, you know, you, you compromise, you go in the middle. So what they're doing is they're setting it up where you can, the consumer can feel like they're compromising to the middle by buying an $800 phone. Right. Pretty wow. remarkable, right? That is cool. Yeah. yeah, that's, I can I can see that too. It made, that's when I heard it um, talked about. $200 is a lot of bread, man, well, for the it difference. Just, it just makes you think, well, I'm not, I'm not being too crazy. I'm not buying their most right. expensive phone, right? You right. know, and meanwhile, the executives are sitting in there in Apple and saying, we just made people feel good about buying an $800, $800 phone, phone, but they're not buying too expensive of a product. Yeah, not bad. That is, that is wild. Yeah. No 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the uh, good old uh, King Dollar. So King Dollar still is, that's up 400 ticks. Um, SWKS, SWKS. So this is one of the Apple suppliers. Um, Skyworks Solutions, that's trading. It's only down a buck. But, it, you know, it, it didn't, this is going to get intriguing because so this came off the high on, on June 9th. And June 9th was a bad day for the NASDAQ. That was the, when the NASDAQ came down hard. The sure. S&Ps didn't get touched. Sure. This went from 112 to 104. Now, it looks like, um, you know, we'll see whether they get any volume with this move. But the consolidation, the top of that is 108. And it doesn't look like it's one to handle that right now. So, yeah. This, They're talking about the den. What data backs that up? It's a, it's a common kind of psychological deal that is across all consumer products, you know, where right. your, your mind, it's its called a, um, the compromise effect, where you just, you know, and it yeah. makes sense if you think about it, you know, you just you just constantly will say, I don't need to spend, I don't need to be the craziest person in the store buying, you know, the item, so I'll just, I'll just buy right. like a little bit less, whether yeah. it's the cars, you know, you're talking about, you don't oh, need, you know, you don't, you don't want the cheapest car, because then you're a cheap person, you don't right. need the million dollar, you know, car, because then you're crazy. So you'll take, you know, the middle when, of the road and you'll feel good about yourself because you're not cheap and you're not too expensive. Right. You know, it's, that's, right. That's, that's, when, when I was in the airline business, remember, yeah. everything that I did, folks, had an 88 at the end of it. I had to sell first class tickets, 29.88. Yeah, the mentality and, of consumerism, and, not the price, well, XXX, it, the X, it, 9.99. You think that that doesn't matter? They just priced right. it at 9.99? Well, right. and where 88 came from is Sears and Roebuck. Sears and Roebuck did this huge deal. Um, you don't remember Sears, but Sears was a big deal, and everything was 88. Yeah. Then. And, I, yeah. and so what, what would end up happening in the airline business, folks, I was selling tickets to 3,000, the clunking sure. tickets were 4888. Yeah. And believe it, so at 4888, you know your head goes to? Not 5,000. Not 4,000, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy. Hey? Yeah. But so the mind is an amazing thing. It's, it is an amazing thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And yes, as uh, Jay says, uh, Amazon, uh, CS could have been the Amazon of today. They started with the catalog business, you know, bottom line. Well, you know what's wild is that actually when you think about Apple and Siri, you know, 
I mean, they got a new guy there that's going to try to get that going. Yeah, a new but head of that they, they were the first ones out there. And I, I heard this guy sure. yesterday that used to work. He worked. He has his own company now, but he was on the original development team of Siri. And then um, it was it was separate. The Siri company was separate from Apple. They, they let them be their own. Then they brought it in house. And he said, what happened is that when they were bringing it in house, they really stopped working on as much as, like, get me my emails instead of they start saying, um, this is a good joke, this is entertainment. And he was explaining that now they're going to bring it back to the thing, what can it do for me, not just something being cute. Sure. Because it's that's not what it is. Functionality, It's, it's right. a functionality. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We get the uh, Dow Industrials right now down three, Nasdaq's off six, S&P's a flat, no, down 250. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up two. Nasdaq's down four. S&Ps are off one. Bottom line, you get a flat market. Boston, folks, September 30th. That's right, man. Come visit us two weeks from this Saturday. It is going to be quick, for sure. It is. It, there's no, oh, look at the oil market. It hasn't moved either. That's, That's it. Let's yeah. jump back real quick before. Yeah, 48.68, so down about seven pennies since uh, 48.75 it was on the dot as we were looking at that. And that would have been, was it $36 maybe, 36? 37.41. Yeah, so that would be 36 cents, you know, you'd need yeah. away from that 48.75, so that'd be a little bit of a loss for sure. So Boston, two weeks from Saturday, we'll be up there. 
five-hour morning session at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts. I finally got that down. Yeah. Um, we'll start it off at 7.45 in the morning. Nice 45 minutes to kind of get there, get comfy, get relaxed, get energized for a day of learning. Continental breakfast, everyone kind of hanging out, getting to know each other. Dan Cook will jump up there for 15 minutes. I'll jump up there for 15 minutes following that, and then we'll get into the meat of things. You'll be talking for 90 minutes, 9 o'clock till 10.30 in the morning. Take a quick 15-minute break. Daryl Martin will be up there talking for 90 minutes, 10.45 till 12.15, and then you guys will get up there and do kind of a joint presentation, take any questions, 45 minutes, an hour from there, and then... Uh, and when you sign up, folks, you get a, uh, well, we'll be giving out signed copies of the book uh, when we're there. The Correct. Art of Time in the Trade. Correct. Uh, I'm going to be talking quality, volume, cause and effect, the ABC structures, swing points, and testing. And as I said uh, yesterday, this testing just keeps on and on and Let's on. See if Apple tests anything today. Uh, yeah, well, you know, that, that uh, the Apple's going to be... That's that's the number out here today, you know. So yeah. you laid down at one fifty seven ninety one. I was just gonna say before the last part yeah. of that too is that iPhone X, not taking orders till the end of October, and they're not selling it till oh, November. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. October twenty seventh. Oh interesting. The other one, everything else starts kind of soon, but that iPhone X, they're not gonna start taking their money till almost next quarter. So that's a reaction as well. Yeah, that, that is. You stay right there, folks. We got swim lessons coming up next, and of course, I'm gonna go to have uh, Basil Chapman. Um, Steve is going to be back tomorrow. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien.